Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Read Fine Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a CTB file. So, what is a CTB file? A CTB file is a file that maps your layer color in BricsCAD or Carlson Survey to your line thickness and line color as it plots, uh, either on a on a physical plotter or uh, on a PDF plotter. Okay, so I've got a couple tools that help with, with um, creating and editing CTB files. So I've got this uh, PDF here, it's called Color Map. And what this does is this, this is actually created from a drawing, which I'll show you in a minute. So this, this shape here, this grid, mirrors the color layout of the Color Chooser dialog in the AutoCAD Layer Manager. And it shows you what each color will actually plot like based on the CTB file that's loaded. Okay, so you can see this is our standard black and white CTB file at RH. So we kind of start with the brightest colors as the thickest black. And then we go, um, as you get to the darker colors, uh, we get thinner black and then finally to the screen colors on the extreme two rows, the outside two rows. And then down here we have a um, some true color um, some layers here, the primary layers one to six that plot true color. Okay, but what I want to do, what we, what we need is we need a, a color CTB because this is primarily just a uh, black and white CTB. Most of most of the survey work products that we do, anything that goes down to the clerk or recorder or the the county surveyor's got to be black and white basically. Uh, but we would like to be able to work with some colors. Uh, we've been in business now for a year or two and and. <laughs> There's been a few times when I said, you know, it'd really be nice to have a color CTB file, so we want to do that. We're not going to create the whole color CTB file in this video, but I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how to get started. So, this is the drawing that was used to create that PDF. Um, so each of these squares is actually set to the the true color um, that you're going to see uh, when you open the uh, layer color dialog. <clears throat> okay, and so <laughs> this will be handy. For us uh, when we're testing out our CTB file. So let's go ahead and see how we actually edit a CTB file. So you can see here we've got our black and white CTB file. I am just going to copy that. And we are going to uh, rename it. And we're going to call it uh, color 2022. I like to put the year on there because we do occasionally make updates. And then if you have BricsCAD or AutoCAD installed on your system, all you gotta do is double click the CTB file and it'll open up in the CTB file editor, plot style table editor. Okay, and um, the the tab that you really wanna be in to edit your CTB files is form view. So you can see here it lists out the colors. Okay, and then as you click a color, it's gonna let you, it's gonna let you um, set both the, the plot color and the um, and the line weight okay so let's go back in let's open up our PDF so we can decide what colors we want to edit here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the top half in this color CTB I'm gonna leave this top half okay as is okay because we still want to support some black and white plotting with with black lines of different thicknesses and some screen colors okay you can see we've got it this is a boo-boo here right number 14 should look like 24 but this bottom half here, we're gonna we're gonna turn into color, um, and I'm probably gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna do one thickness here, so I'm probably gonna just keep this this thickness that we have for 13. I don't know that I'm gonna do. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna do different thicknesses just yet, um, and I, and I may mess with this color CTB file a little bit as we test it out. So what that means is we want to tackle this first row here. Uh, row 11 to 241 and we want it to be the thickness of this 13 but we want it to be the true color okay so let's do that so let's go see how thick color 13 is okay so color 13 is set to this 0 0.0256 so now we're going to start with color 11 okay so we're going to go find that 0 0.0256 uh, but this time we're going to actually set the color I don't know why it's not letting me choose the color there. 
Let's try 21. Okay, so I think if we use current, it's just going to use the correct color, the true color. So we're going to see in a minute. So then we'll set the thickness. So I'm just going to do that first row real quick. Okay, we're just going to cruise through here and see if this works. If not, we'll come back in and fix it. Okay, so I'm just I'm skipping 10 every time. So all the colors in the row in the color chooser dialog are, are 10 units apart, 10 numbers apart. going to do one more um, we'll stop at 91 and then we'll go test this okay so now we're going to go back to that drawing we have that color map drawing and what we want to do now is we want to uh, plot this but we want to load the CTB file okay so we're going to go plot and um, if you have some your your CAD set up it'll just that CT, new CTP file should pop up in your drop down list here. So it did. Okay, and we're going to apply and then um, let's see, let's, uh, let's window this. I had a slightly different uh, plot driver, so I'm getting some differences here. Okay, so you can see now that that worked, right? Because these are coming out this this same thickness, but they're coming out the true color, right? The color that's actually in the CAD drawing. Okay, so that worked the way we want. So if we continue that, we'd get the we'd get that full string of colors. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to finish that row of colors, and we'll see how that. Take a look at that. Okay, guys. So I finished that first row. So let's take a look at that. So you can see I've got that first row now. Plots true color. Okay, which is uh, which is cool. Okay, now I want to do uh, something a little special. We want to add um, two or three of our Redefine Horizons uh, branding colors, which is those are red, green, blue values, so that we can we can plot the Redefine Horizon colors, actual our branding colors. Okay, so uh, let's show you how to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to come up here and uh, to our marketing folder and we're going to open our branding guide because it's got our colors. Mm. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to add, I'll probably add these three colors here. And you can see I've got the red, green, blue values listed. So I'm going to pull that off my screen and show you guys how we do that. Okay, so we're going to open this up, <clears throat> and what I want to do is I want to take, uh, I think I'm going to use color 7, 8, and 9 for that. Okay, so um, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to go to color 7. Okay, and instead of saying use current, current we're going to hit select color. I don't know why it's not letting me do that. That is really weird. That's really weird. I should be able to select that true color, that red, green, blue value. For some reason, that's not working. Let's try something else here. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll have to troubleshoot that. I'm not sure why that's not working. So I, I won't be able to do that like I wanted, but. Uh, you guys can see how you can set the uh, you can you can set up a color CTB, right? And edit a CTB file, and then you can use this color map drawing to create a preview of what each of those colors will will look like, right? 
And so uh, actually what our CAD users do is they just, most of them just print this out and uh, laminate it and tape and they tape it to the wall, <laughs> tape it to the wall above their workstation. Okay, so uh, there you go guys. That, that shows you a little bit about how CTB files work and how you can edit a CTB file. And uh, well, I think we've, we've shared our black and white CTB in this color map drawing on, on our website. Um, if not, I will make sure I add that. And when we finish the color CTB file, we will get that up as well. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.